Reino! Gotcha. बच के कहा जाएगा टक्सीडो कम टू डैडी शुक्रान आर यू एंजॉइंग योर विंटर इन अबू धाबी इट्स द बेस्ट Charles Oliveira out of his fight with Islam and is Alex Volkanovski. All of that is true. But the Volkanovski crew, absolute studs, man. He jumps in and we end up making a fight that's one of the most anticipated rematches ever. I'm the best fighter in the world. When you are the best in the world, you have to fight. Doesn't matter who is going to be there. So, new opponent, same goal. Is you ready for war, my brother? Is you ready for war, my brother? I'm back in the back in the the card that everyone has been waiting for in Abu Dhabi. Islam Makashev! This guy's an absolute bear. He's got a skill set that is just so damn dangerous. Alexander Volkanovsky! Trying to take the lightweight belt. Have you ever seen a phenom like Hamzat Shimaev? I come in for everybody. I'm the job, I'm the kick it. This kid is special. When you let him go, he just destroys everything in his path. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 294, Makashev versus Volkanovski 2. Tomorrow night, the UFC once again takes over the Etihad Arena here in Abu Dhabi. In the main event, undisputed UFC lightweight champion Islam Makashev puts his belt on the line for a second time, and for a second time, he will face the long-reigning UFC featherweight king, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. Also on tap in the new look co-main event, decorated former UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman has stepped up to face the undefeated mixed martial arts force, Chechen Swede, Hamzat Chimaev. We would like to thank our UFC sponsor, Prime Hydration, the official sports drink of UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to members of the new look UFC Fight Club joining us today here in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. We hope to see all of you once again with a live action here tomorrow night. And now it is time for the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 294. Abu Dhabi, great to be back. Thank you all for coming out to the ceremonial weigh-in. How about a hand for the Octagon Girls, Jenny Andraz, Camila Oliveira, Red De La Cruz, UFC President Dana White's in the building, powerful Hunter Campbell, our great matchmaker Sean Shelby, and the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, is with us as well. All right, 13 fights coming your way at UFC 294, and we begin with our ESPN Plus prelims in the middleweight division. Shara Bullet Magomedov versus Bruno Blindado Silva. First fighter to the scale, Bruno Silva. Oh, 
Official weight 186 for Blindado. And his opponent set to make his UFC debut here Saturday, Shara Bullet Magomedov. One eighty six for Shara Bullet. All right, next prelim comes your way in the UFC strawweight division. Victoria Dudakova versus Jin Yu Fry. One sixteen, the official weight for Jin Yu Fry. And her opponent, please welcome Victoria Dudakova. One sixteen point six for Dudakova. 0.6 ounces over the divisional limit. She forfeits twenty percent of her purse. All right, moving on now to the UFC featherweight division. Nathaniel the Prospect Wood versus Muhammad Hillman Naimov. First fighter out, Muhammad Naimov. One forty five and a half for Mohammed Naimov. And his opponent, Nathaniel the Prospect Wood. One forty six, the official way for Nathaniel Wood. All right, moving on now to the lightweight division. Money Mike Breeden versus On Shul, King of Lions, Jude Lee. First fighter to the stage, undefeated and proudly repping his nation of India, On Shul, Jude Lee. One fifty nine and a half for money, Mike Breeden. Three and a half pounds over the division of Lemony forfeits thirty percent of his purse.
fight next prelim comes your way in the middleweight division. Abu Captain Morocco Azaitar versus Satriquis the Reaper Dumas. First athlete to the stage. How about a hand for the Reaper Satriquis Dumas? One eighty-six. The official weight for Satriquis Dumas. And his opponent, Captain Morocco, Abu Azaitar. One eighty six, the official weight for Abu Azaitar. All right, next up, what should be a good one in the bantamweight division. Shavid, the Snow Leopard Basharat versus Victor La Mangosta Henry. First fighter to the stage, Victor Henry. The official weight for the Mongoose, Victor Henry. And his opponent still undefeated at 14 and 0. The Snow Leopard, Chavin Basharat. The official weight for Javid Basharat. All right, next prelim is yours in the UFC's lightweight division. Mohammed, the UAE warrior Yaya versus Trevor Peak. First fighter to the stage is the American Trevor Peak. One fifty-five and a half for Trevor Peak. And his opponent, the first Emirati to compete in the Octagon, making his debut Saturday night, the UAE Warrior, Mohammed Yaya. One fifty-six, the official weight for Mr. Yaya. All right, folks, that brings us to the featured prelim in the flyweight division. Tim Elliott versus Mohammed, the Punisher Mokayev. First fighter to the scale. The number 11 ranked contender still undefeated, Mohammed Mokayev. 126, the official win for the Punisher, Mohammed Mokayev. And his opponent, former world title challenger and the number 10 ranked contender, Tim Elliott. <laughs> 126, the official win for Let's Tim Elliott. Let's go. Let's go.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the main core live on pay-per-view. First out of the shoot in the Bantamweight division, Saeed Nurmagomedov versus Muin Tajik Kafarov. First Bantamweight to the stage, Muin Gafurov. One thirty-five and a half. The official weight for Muin Kafurov. And his opponent, please welcome Saeed Nurmagomedov. One hundred and thirty-six pounds, the official weight for Saeed Nurmagomedov. Next main card matchup at middleweight, Ikram Alaskarov versus Warley Alves. First fighter to the stage, making his 15th UFC appearance, the Brazilian Warley Alves. Official weight for Warley Alves. And his opponent, winner of six consecutive fights, Ikram Alaskarov. Official weight 186 for Ikram Alaskarov. Oh, 
represent the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to take a closer look at the men on the marquee, the two champions who will share the octagon tomorrow night in our lightweight championship main event. Take a look. UFC 284, it was an incredible fight. A super fight for the ages between the top two pound for pound fighters in the world. A lot of people thought I was mad. Pound for pound number one, why are you going up? Oh, big stick with a left hand by Volkanovski. But High risk, high reward. Volk's got to be careful. And now he drops Volkanovski. Volk hits the floor with one knee. What a way to start the mega fight. Last time when we fought in Australia, it's hardest fight in my career. And he's really picking up the pace now. That's nice. But I landed very good punches. Oh, counter left hand over the top. I pressure him, take him down. Oh, that's how you time a takedown. A lot of people thought as soon as he grabs a hold of me, game over. And I showed you that that wasn't the case. Have you ever heard a crowd like this? We've got one more round, and it's still anybody's fight. Some people say this close fight because I give him some chance in the last minute. Oh! oh! Massive right hand. Huge land late in the fight for Volkanovski. Volkanovski. Got to seal the deal, become a two-way division champion. What a fight! Alexander Volkanovski to me, win the fight 3-2. After the last fight, we have many questions, but I will give all answers in Abu Dhabi. Oh! Knockdown from Akasha! This is not Australia. This is my second home. All arena is going to be on my side. I will defend my belt. I've got tunnel vision of what I need to do. I'm going in for the kill from the get-go, and I'm going to make it happen. I took this fight knowing that there's still a lot to lose, but there is still so much to gain. First round, second round, if I have some small chance, I will finish him and make people understand my level. Islam Akashem, the best in the world! He still remembers what happened the last fight. He still remembers being there the last round, begging for that bell to ring. He remembers that. I don't want to give him any chance. I will make him sleep or knock him out. 11 days notice, all the odds stacked against you. If there's anyone that can go out there and shock the world, it's me. Undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. First fighter to the stage. The reigning UFC featherweight champion. Moving on up, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. One fifty-four and a half. The official weight. For Alexander Volkanovsky. And new. And his opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. Official weight 155 for the champion, Islam Makhachev. Oh, 
All right, we step over here. We will first grab a minute with the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. You are that guy. You have stepped up in a major way. The weight cut is now behind you. How do you feel about tomorrow night, sir? I might have feel great. This is going to be incredible. Obviously, February last year, one of the greatest fights there was, and now it's round six. So everyone's in for a treat. Let's get it. Absolute legend. Can't wait to watch it. How about it, folks? Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, and now we grab a moment with the man around whom this fight card was built, the man many of you have come to see, Islam Makashev. Any thoughts on the eve of your second championship title defense? Abu Dhabi, good to see you again. Tomorrow I will show you best performance. Thank you. Thank you all of you guys because I know you all support me. Thanks so much. All the best tomorrow night, sir. There he is, Islam Makashev. Abu Dhabi, can't thank you all enough. One more sleep, we'll see you tomorrow night. Two reigning UFC champions collide in a true super fight. Islam Makachev, this guy's so dominant. Alexander Volkanovsky. Trying to take the lightweight belt. Kamzatshi Mayev. This kid is special. He's a ball of fire. When you let him go, he just destroys everything in his path. Kamaru Usman, he is one of the best of all time. It is going to be insane inside the Etihad Arena. The Russian Bear. It feels great to be the first Russian champion in a UFC history. I always wanted to be an actor through fighting. You must become one. I had uh, offers to do some low-budget films right after UFC. Once uh, I get an Oscar, I could say, hey, this is like the UFC number six. You can't jump higher.